All right, what's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm just gonna go through a timeline of a video that I made recently, break it down a little bit, see if anyone has any questions on how I did certain things, um, because I have had people asking me how this was made. So this video is for my job. I work with the Grand Rapids Griffins, the primary affiliate with the Detroit Red Wings in the NHL. Griffins are in the AHL, and we just recently did our schedule release, full schedule release, and we made a video for it, and I put together a video game title sequence. Uh, it made it look like NHL 2K. We called this the our Griffins 23-24 Chell schedule release. So I'm gonna jump into it. You guys can see the beginning timeline. This is After Effects, and what you're seeing here is just the first of many layers going on in this project. I mean, if I scrub through this, it's not gonna run. It's a lot of power, but you can see there, you know, it goes into the title sequence and the logos and the schedule. So I created this all from scratch. Now people who know how After Effects works or do a lot of stuff in After Effects, you know, will probably understand this and or, you know, see that it wasn't too difficult for me, but for the people asking questions and for people who are just interested, we're gonna do a quick breakdown of this. So starting off here, is the loading menu. So down here, if you look, I have different comps or compositions. So if I click into this loading menu, this is layers for the intro. All this down here is audio. So I'm just gonna close all that real quick. I'm also gonna try to make this video not super long. I don't wanna go into too much detail, but I wanna go into enough detail so people can see what it took, if that makes sense. So starting off here, um, if I just scrub through this real quick, logo comes in, a little loading menu down here with the AHL logo, just, you know, incorporating everything. You know, this logo right here, logo is a different project. So I created the logo itself and then um, brought in here. So this was created on a whole nother project of just this logo coming in with these dots. So I call it logo dots. And then it kind of comes in like an intro, just the AHL logo with a little loading menu um, I found um, online in the libraries that I use. So the couple that we use, a couple sites and things like that that we use, uh, one of them is uh, Soundstripe, we use, I use for my music library. And then for work, we use Envato Elements and Motion Array. So those all help find templates. And like, that's how I got this logo. I was able to kind of get a project and I did that for a couple things in here where I was able, was able to just drop in the logo and then it created it for me. I exported it. I still had to bring it in, make it transparent, do all that stuff, but I didn't have to create it from scratch, I guess, and create those assets then to go in and create this bigger project. So starting off, we have just a picture, DJI, it's a DJI picture. So it's from a drone that we took of the city and then uh, you get the logo here, the little loading menu, like you're loading into a new game. And then once it loads in, it hits, you get the press X to start, the little fade here with the Griffins 2324 schedule release, because that's the beginning of the video. And this press X, if you notice, if I, if I can play this, it pulses and also clicks with an audio. So that press X right here is another composition. So we're going two layers down now. Um, let me see, where is it? Can you see, you probably can't see it. Let's do it like this, there it is. So this is literally just a composition with press and then a X button that I've PNG um, and then I made it pulse. And I have the sound, all my sound effects I found on Soundstripe. So I have like whooshes, uh, if you look down here, low, soft, long, that's a whoosh sound, a little skate sound interfering uh, interface select. So that's that little like blink that you hear, like you're pressing the button. And then just like this, this, this is a video of a fight that I filmed for the Griffins. And I just took, the, that's that audio you hear in the back there, like the cheering. And then the whoosh. And then I have a camera layer here 
So then when this pushes forward, it's pushing past the camera. My example is I literally watched the loading menu from NHL 23, the one with Trevor Zegris on the cover. And this is what the menu does. I mean, it's different. They have palm trees, they have the players, all that stuff. But I just kind of mimicked that style. So you can see all these are keyframes. So it leaves just a second later than each other. And what that does is that goes into the next menu of the video game. And in this, this is a image of the smoke on it. And then I have a smoke layer. Um, so we are in, so this is its own right here. I didn't make a comp for this. I just built this in the main, the main comp. Uh, so you have the Adobe stock picture, which we have through work. I have Adobe stock. Um, this is the smoke. So if I turn it off, turn it back on, that's the moving smoke you see here. Um, the loading with the AHO logo. Uh, and then like, you know, when you're, when you're opening a game or turning on a game for the first time, it needs to connect to the internet. It goes a little dark and then has connecting. It was just a little extra thing there. I didn't have to do it, but I did it because I wanted to, to have those details in there. Um, music goes away or sound connecting. And then it goes into this menu, which again, I roughly mimicked off of the 2K, the NHL game just so I had something to go off of, but that is our menu select comp. So we're gonna click into that comp and this is where a lot of stuff goes on. Let me fit that to the screen there. First thing is we have the title up top, the, you know, play online, offline more, uh, shape layer, which is the red, you know, like you're on it so to select. And then if we go down to here, this home opener draft comp, click into that, that's this little box menu. Like, you know, the, the news of things going on when you're in a game, like, like Call of Duty or anything, and you're in like the store or something, you can see different like packages or, or, or things you can buy. So what I did is I created this with our, with our home opener. Um, and then it shifts over to, you know, our new head coach announcement you know, the assistant coach announcement, and then I believe goalie coach announcement. So it like shifts through that. And I also had to create this little guy up here. These are all individual. So when you play through it real quick, let me just skip ahead. You know, it's like a little menu select. Uh, so that's another little detail that I added into that. And it just shifts through them all. I don't, I don't think it ever hits that last one. Nope, it's just kind of there. And then, so if we go back, so that's down here, chilling, just doing its own thing. The little music pops up, which I got all my music off of Soundstripe. And when you're in a game, like any of these sport games, it kind of tells you what the music is. So I just thought that'd be cool to have that down there. So that's its own, uh, where is that? That is its own music title. So if we click into that, let me make that fit screen. It's, it's literally like this little box with the little music notes that again, I got off of, uh, I don't remember if that, which one, if that came from Envato or Motion Array, but I got off one of those with the song and the artist, and then it drops away. You know, we have different ones. So I created it for all three different songs that play throughout this game. One of the things our brand standard is we're going with like, like black and white, like this Argyle triangle. And I actually found this on motion array our graphic designer created it as a solid so he has just a solid argyle triangle textures going on i found this one this 3d polygon loop and it's like very similar but it moves so i thought that'd be a nice thing for a menu select and it fits our brand standards so that was just luck of the draw there but the music's not playing right here but i have the i keep on pointing at the screen <laughs> um Full schedule, you know, play now, ultimate team, you know, all the little menu items you'd see in one of these games and I have it clicking between them. It's gonna go real slow here. And as it switches like play now, 
you see some game footage that I filmed. Ultimate team, you'll see a player. So you have Griffin's ultimate team, and then it goes to a backup, like it's play now, and then back up to full schedule. Oh, saving project. What it does here, it selects on full schedule, and it kind of just goes away. You get the little select interface again. And then from there, you go into teams which this is where, ever, like that title menu I'm very proud of. Just like, it's it's pretty simple, all things considered, but I'm very proud of it. This probably took me the most, like if I just go down here, so many sound effects, so many layers. Let me um, do this real quick. Okay, so if you look here, there's a lot going on so many layers what are we at 97 just short of 100 different layered items in this one menu one timeline comp this is the bulk of it and i would say from uh 70 to 90 so 20 of those layers is just uh, sound effects menu clicks and interface selects three of those layers is fog for the background um, a bunch of those layers is like that, uh, different colored fogs for each team, the calendar that you see in the background, and then the team, you know, there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers is for the wolves. Cause you go back and forth through them. You know, I had to keep that in order. Uh, but yeah, so if I, if I scroll forward here, you get this kind of menu ice with smoke selection thing again. It loads up to the first menu, you get the team's name, loot arrows, which I created as their own layer, I believe, if I remember right. These these two little arrows here have their own comp, so I could like have them select every time you click. They click up and they get a little bit bigger and get back small again. And I'll show the smooth project or the video playing, but you know, color eagles. What else do we have? We have them all. Well, we have all the teams we play. So this is my calendar that I created. Team, home and away. So every time a team gets, so it, it, it siphons or, or rotates through the teams. So you see here we have the Toronto Marlies and it comes back to the Colorado Eagles and they get selected. And then the menu shows up, or sorry, the menu, the calendar shows up and then it highlights the games we play with them and then with some of the teams where we only play them for example with Colorado we only play them four times two times at home and then two times away I made that month get bigger because you don't have to look at all six months or one two three four five six what one two three four five seven months sorry all seven months on here when we only play them four times in October so I made that bigger on the next team, clicked over to the Cleveland Monsters, and you can see we play them multiple times, so I left it all small. You know, and then the smoke back here changed per what team I selected to that kind of like one of their primary colors. So for them, for the Eagles, it was yellow. For Cleveland, it's blue. Rockford, I believe I made it red, yep. And that smoke kind of just kind of sits there. It moves. Um, and then these get selected. So I did that for every single team texas that we play chicago now chicago has a little easter egg in it it lags out because there's kind of like this running rivalry with chicago and grand rapids so i make it lag out the first time you try to select them in this little like contact or connection issue please contact player support and provide error code and now this error code is an easter egg and i did see some people online figuring out like what is this error code i'm not going to say what it is but if you want to figure it out go right ahead um but this is an easter egg there is something there so, you know figure that out if you'd like um and then the little disconnection that you see you know when you're playing online or something and you lose connection to the internet this little unplug thing kind of flashes up loading menu down here or loading icon and then it goes over to a new team you know new song pops in you know, the Marlies gets played, uh, Senators, uh, the Moose, 
Iowa Wild, Milwaukee Admirals. Chicago comes up again and it lags. It, it, it just kind of twitches a little bit, but you still see the schedule. Team connection issue comes up, you know, please restart, same error code. And then that's how I ended it, was just on that, please restart the game. And it ends. And that's it for that. All these logos, because they're like 3D and have like a glare on them, were just like the Griffins logo at the beginning, is its own project that it created, brought in each logo. Uh, so then when I can go up here to like my team logos, if I just click on one, like let's see the Admirals, for example, will that run? Yeah, see, it's, it's a whole thing. And it does that for every single team that we play. You know, so I made one for everybody. This is already getting kind of long. I just really wanted to do a quick breakdown. I know that's probably a lot of information. Real quick, if, if anyone has any questions, wants to see how I did certain things. I mean, like I said at the beginning, for those of you who know After Effects, you can realize that like, it's just, it was more time consuming than it was like quote unquote hard, but there was a lot, you know, there's a lot in there. Like this is my main comp, my loading menu comp, my menu select comp, music comp, team comp, which is the big one. And then there's comps built into hey, music title. I think I went to name comp. So it goes through all the names. This one's is just, yeah, like, yeah, this one I didn't even show, but that's all the names. So it just rotates through all of them. I don't even know what other comps I have. The error comp, which is that error message. Like I created all of this from scratch. The only things that were not created from scratch were the logos, you know, sound design, everything. I, I did everything. So if, if there's anything anyone wants to see, wants to know about, I, I don't even know questions. I just kind of wanted to break this down to show what went into it. Hopefully this answers some people's questions. And then if anyone else has some questions, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, let me know what you're thinking. And uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.